You see? So we're in a game. Right? So back in um Jude 1, 16, these are murmurers, complainers, <clears throat> walking after their own lust. Yes, yeah, so they won't walk after the ways anymore. So you have a bar show me how show you. See? And their mouth speaking great swelling words. Having made person admiration because of advantage. Yes, yeah, so you can only you only look at uh, looking at uh, you, you are main pleasers. You know what I'm saying? You don't please anymore, son, man. You get that scripture, right? St. John 12. And for the tree, for they love the prayers of men more than the prayers of the Lord's side. See that? So we gave up now the um So back at Isaiah 63, huh? Eh? Isaiah 63. Oh yeah, so I showed you the I showed you the uh So I showed you the 10,000 of the saints, the Lord coming with me. Those are the angels, man. Psalm 68 and 70, right? The Lord, the Lord, uh, the, the chariots and the mercy are thousands, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. So Isaiah 63 and 1, who is this that coming from Edom with dirty garments from Bosworth? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yeah, glorious in his apparel, because I tell you, in, um, it said Matthew 25, right? Um, it said Matthew 25, man. Like right, spirit. It said Matthew 25, 31. And the Son of Man shall come in his glory. Yeah, he said, hey, you, 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 you can, hey, you, hey. Your jaws are gonna drop, man, say. And the Son of Man shall come in his glory. All the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. So all the holy angels, man, all brothers, man, they mean all brothers, man. all brothers can be, can, 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 can uh, come to our Lord, man. So, hey, he, the men that fell in this truth, right, all the way back then, to know me, and who may go after me before the Lord turns. I could be one of them. If so be, I come and back with my Lord, because the Lord said in First Thessalonians 4, Right? That uh, he's gonna bring them with him. So you don't gotta worry, B. We done got the victory, B. Right? So I said Matthew 25, 31, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. So you Lord. Know, the Lord, the Lord is the ultimate separatist, man. The Lord is the ultimate separatist, man. Right. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Who's the sheep? The Lord said what? I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew, uh, Matthew 8 and 11. Right? It says, um, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Now, who's the goat? The rough goat is the king of Brisha. So, sorry with the Edomites, all the way down to the Edens, man. You see? Verse 34, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Come ye blessed of my father, man. Who the Lord ultimately bless? The children of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. He gave us the kingdom, man. He chose us, man. Right? Out of all the lands of the whole world, that was me, uh, out of all the people of the world. If I let me get that, man. Let me get that, man. 
Yeah. I'm gonna be looking at this Yeah, second end was fighting in um, 27. Second end was fighting 27. And among all the multitude of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people. But unto this people whom thou lovest, thou givest a law that is approved of all. So, whom thou lovest, the children of Israel, man. You understand? Out of all the peoples in the world, the Lord chose one people. Who is that people? The children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, man. You see? So back in Isaiah 63, in the last part, I won again. Isaiah 63, I won. Who is this that coming from Edom? We have died garments from Basra. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yeah, because, hey, hey, um, Isaiah saw a Lord coming with great death. He said, died garments from Basra, right? And the scripture says, um, uh, in um, the slayer of the Lord shall be many. So Isaiah saw the Lord bringing great death with him. Oh, so on this second, on this second coming, dude. you see? What well, he said, die down from Basra too, right? Did he eat saw eat him? You see? Traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, money to save. Hey, that we know I said, um, my redeemer is strong. I want to get that, boy. My Redeemer is strong, man. Let me get that. So like him, man. I want to get that scripture. Redeemer is strong, man. Strong, come on, I'll do that right now. Jeremiah fifty and thirty four. Not yet pass, man. Sorry? It says, I that speak in righteousness, but he saved, right? Jeremiah 50 34, their redeemer, their redeemer, their redeemer, their redeemer, possessive pronoun, their, their redeemer is strong. Your hover of horse is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, like in, um, like in the book of Joel. Right? You also even plead for my people and for my heritage, Israel. And that pleads in what? Great death be. Right? He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he, 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 he Lord, Lord, Lord is fighting for us, be. Really, it's for the elect. Wait, 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 study it. You see? Because two thirds are going to be horribly put to death. You see? Jeremiah 50 34, their redeeming strong. The hover of horse is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that he might give rest to the land and destroy the inhabitants of Babylon. That's plain. See? So now, um, going back now, huh? Huh? 
for Isaiah 63 and 2. Wherefore art thou read in thine apparel and the garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Yeah, so Isaiah saw the Lord. Like I said earlier, Isaiah saw the Lord coming with great death. A lot of blood is going to be spilled. There's a scripture that says the blood will be unto the horse's bridle. I think I'll find out no boy. Right? There's a scripture that says the blood will be unto the horse's bridle. Right? There's one that says, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Revelation 14 and 20. And the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse riders, where the spears of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. So they basically had a lot of bloodshed. You see? The Lord bless you. You know what I mean? The Lord is bringing with him. You see? Isaiah like 63 and 2. Wherefore are thou ready in thine apparel, and the garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and they will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You say? Hey, boy, so hey, the Lord's gonna bring great death on this page. It's gonna say, I am come to set fire on the earth. Right? Isaiah 63 and 6. I never tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury. I never bring down their strength to the earth. So the Lord, hey, the Lord's gonna tread down the people in his anger. Be that way, Habakkuk said in wrath, remember mercy, boy. He said, Is the Lord gonna be is the Lord gonna let loose be? Maybe he's gonna let loose. You know, when a, when a, when a, when a, a, a man get away, he can't control him. He that angry that he can't control him, man. You know what I mean? The Lord's gonna be, the Lord's gonna be, hey, the Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna, hey, the Lord's gonna fuck up this place. You know? Speaking raw and truth, this place is gonna be, hey, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, is, the Lord is coming to forget this place, man. Right? Oh, yeah, how about show you show you. He is coming. He is coming to forget this place, boy. And it's not going to be pretty. And wrath, remember mercy, be real thing. Say, in wrath, remember mercy, boy. Say, because the power and the anger the Lord coming with, boy. Right? Who shall be able to stand? I read that earlier, right? For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand? Revelation 6 and 17. Really only the elect is who's going to be able to stand. On that sweet come about to see him. That's it. So first we do. So this for the men in the faith. No, this next verse here. First Peter. I'm sorry, Second Peter. Right. So again, about the Second Peter. Hey, Spirit. So again, about the Second Peter. Three and seven. Right. No, I'm sorry. Second Peter three and seven. Yeah. And no Gatorade. But it was our first Peter. So like, let me see if we finish the idea. Yeah. 
Right, so about this, so being out the second Peter tree now, right? Second Peter tree and um, let me start at verse eight, huh? Then I get shot, shot, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, it was lit. A lot of things happened today, the weather. You know what I mean? A lot of things was against my favor today, you know what I mean? But hey, I ate my body, the weather clear up, I come out. See? The preacher's word, and this truth, man. You see? Because this is what matters to me, man. This is this is what matters to me, man. This truth is what matters to me, man. You understand? This is this is my missing link here, man. She no pass, she no pass gas right there. She pass, she, she pass here, she pass gas right there. First, second Peter tree and um, and yet, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack, but sending his promise as some men count slackness. But is no suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah, he did only want, Lord want his, his elect. Lord want his elect to be sealed, man. You see? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, showing that everybody ain't gonna, ain't gonna uh, be saved, man. Because he's gonna catch people off guard. If the thief know, if, if, um, if the whole soul of Manoah, when the thief would come, he would, he would, um, he would put out bars and, and et cetera, just roughly quote his scripture, right? So he wouldn't catch you off guard. So a lot of these people here are going to be caught off guard. You see? They're going to be caught off guard, man. Right? But the day of the, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the rich to heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. The heavens is talking about Esau's rulership. You see? Esau's rulership is going to be burned up. Because you can't do nothing with all the space. Alright? You can't do nothing with all the space. The gas is totally different compared to where we stand on this earth. You see? Totally, totally different. So the heavens see is talking about Esau's rulership. Revelation. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Because it tells you in the book of Ecclesiastes, the earth abided forever. You see? And the Lord sees he's going to make the place of his feet glorious. Now, what's the place of the Lord's feet? The earth. Right? The scripture says, heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. So, Lord's going to beautify this earth once again. Alright? So, 2 Peter 3, and 10, But the day of the Lord will come with the thief in the night, and the rest of heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the rest of the therein shall be burnt up. So, hey, everything that Esau has, has done, everything that um, he's manufactured, Hey, this wood, this, 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 you see, you see all these, you see all these buildings here, all these buildings here, all these buildings here, all these buildings here, all, all them there. You see, this building here, you see, you know what I mean? All across the Caribbean, they on the water, when the earth shall re, re to and fro like a drunkard boy, because Barbados already below sea level. So something's gonna to happen to make the sea to rise to cover this little island be. We we had a little smaller um I wanna say it was a, it was a like a little uh, thunderstorm kind of activity like it was about two years ago. And there's a place over here called the wharf where the sea the, the sea the the the, the boardwalk the wharf, 
and then you got the, the, the water there that leads to the sea. Man, when the base was blowing, man, the wind blew that water all across the road, man. So imagine when this earth shakes, be this world, this hey, the Caribbean islands get underwater and they can't swim. So you could use that as a tool, eat so eat them when you come into, you know what I mean? Because uh, you know you got your torture chambers, etc. You know what I mean? You're welcome to draw me. You can't swim. The Lord said, hey, he can lift a stand or so. Ultimately, Lord is really done. Ultimately, Israel has the victory. So it can care less, be. You know what I mean? The children of Israel have the victory through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Through Him be praised and glory forever and ever so be it, man. He was the one. He was the one that that made the paved the way for us, man. And through his death, we can get eternal life. Through him, man. He died on the cross for the children of Israel and their sins be paved the way for us now. That we can see the future. That we can see the kingdom of heaven being ruled by our Lord and Master and us, we be ruling alongside him, Romans 8, 16. You say? So that's the new heavens and the new earth, man. The vibration of the Lord, Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, is going to go through the earth. The same way he saw his vibration, the wicked, right, goes throughout the earth, right? Everybody conforming to, to their laws and their ways. On the right hand, say, when our Lord returns, Right? The vibration of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is going to go through this whole planet Earth, man. And this Earth is going to be fortified and beautified and magnified, man. See? Real thing, man. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Conversation means conduct. The conduct boy. Say? It's good to say if any man be in a mashiach, he's a new creature. I think that's 2 Corinthians 5 17. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are made new. You say? Looking for and hasting, 2 Peter 3 and 12. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Messiah. And when the heavens being up, being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Again, that's the Esau's society. You understand? The Esau's society, man. His heaven is being dissolved. His rulership is being dissolved. Come down and sit upon the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no more throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Isaiah 47. So the time for you to be ruling is at, is at its end. Be. See? It's at its end. Be. Our Lord is returning. You see? Our Lord is returning. Be. You know what I mean? And it says fervent heat. Be. It says fervent heat. Hey, let me get his last precept, huh? Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. Hey. There's another one that says, um, I shall consume away where they stand upon their feet. That's the fervent heat. That's Zachariah. Yeah, boy. Zachariah 14. Zachariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh, I read earlier, he can plead all cause, right? He can plead all cause. 
your flesh shall consume away while you stand upon your feet, and your eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What can cause that be? Fervent heat. What can cause the fervent heat? These missiles be. You see? These missiles, boy. So back in um, 2 Peter 3 and 30, nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That we're looking for, man. You see? That we're looking for. New heavens and a new earth, man. New rulership to come on this earth. You know what I mean? Because this earth is vile. It's wicked, you know what I mean? Uh, the children ain't safe. The children ain't safe, you know what I mean? The body is failure. You got pains all over the damn place. You know what I mean? Your financial, your financial situation is not the same. The dollar crumbling, my son. The economies, the economies, all over the world in shambles, you see? In the last days, perilous times you come, you see? Make it be level to the own self, you know what I mean? All the signs of baby, you know what I mean? All the, and that's the same signs that, you, that uh, the Lord told the wicked spell and Pharisees that you can see. For there should be no sign but the sign of the prophet Jonas. The Jonas was in the belly of a huge sea monster. It says great fish, in the definition, great fish, sea monster. I like to use the word sea monster because there are monsters up there in the sea. And one of them is Leviathan boy. But the creature that swallowed up Jonas was a huge sea monster. And Jonas was in the belly of that huge sea monster. So you can imagine how he felt being Think about it. Can you can you imagine being swallowed by a huge fish, a huge sea monster, but you still alive? And you you are inside. You are inside the guts, all the intestines, the the other creatures they have eaten, the acid. You know what I mean? Um, the slime. Could you imagine that? Inside. Could you imagine that? Inside. That's why. That way Jonah said, out oh, on the belly of the hell, cried I. So Jonah was in that huge sea monster, and Jonah cried in the most high, but hell is a condition. So Jonah was in that hellacious condition, and he cried in the most high, be Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father, Bahasham in the name Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son. You see? He cried unto the most high, be. So these are the conditions that can come on this earth. Let me get one more preset. St. Luke 12 and 49. Right? I have come to send fire on the earth. And what will I? If it be or if it be already kingdom. So you all kind of set fire on this place, be so hey, what you seeing? What do you think you see in the world and the state is in? Well, it's not the Lord, hey, I found the light and create darkness. Isaiah 45 verse 17. I found the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the law, Yahweh, do all these things, be. Is that it? Hey. I can close my name in. I can shut shut. Right? Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kahalash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops, the great millstone, the shallow worm to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious in the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mokar Kodach. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 to you all. Lord will next week. Oh, hey, tomorrow.
Hey, they want to like, who knows? Till next time, Shalom. And uh, um, many sorrows to the wicked. Rub him, Mark up and rub him. Now we shine. Bow up, bow up. By Yahweh, Kassad, Yasser, Babnava. And mercy to his elect. Shalom.